If Silicon Valley was its own country, it would have an annual GDP of $275 billion. That's not surprising considering the region is home to some of the world's largest tech companies. Apple, Alphabet, Facebook, and Tesla are all headquartered in Silicon Valley. And if you add up the market caps of Silicon Valley companies, you get an astronomical figure, $10.5 trillion. There are more than 2,000 tech companies in the region, and more startups are launching every year. Here's a look at how Silicon Valley became the world's leading tech hub. To understand how Silicon Valley became a center of technological innovation, we have to go all the way back to the 1900s when the telegraph and radio industries took off. In 1909, Charles Herald launched the Herald College of Wireless and Engineering. He constructed an umbrella-style antenna atop the college and used it to broadcast weekly programs to listeners with the help of his assistant, Ray Newby. Harold used the call letters FN and SJN for his makeshift radio station, and historians consider him to be a Silicon Valley pioneer. By the 1930s, Silicon Valley's first tech giant was beginning to take shape. In 1939, William Hewlett and David Packard founded Hewlett Packard in Palo Alto. They formally established the company just one year after selling test and measurement equipments to Disney for the movie Fantasia. The HP garage where the pair started the company is considered to be the birthplace of Silicon Valley. HP quickly became a powerhouse selling oscilloscopes. When World War II started, the company transitioned to building radar and artillery tech. Today, Hewlett Packard is two separate companies. At the time of producing this video, HP Inc. had a $36.88 billion market cap, while Hewlett Packard Enterprise had a $19.21 billion market cap. In the 1940s, the invention of the transistor ushered in the computer age. It was developed in 1947 by William Shockley, John Bardeen, and Walter Bertain while they were working at Bell Labs. In 1956, Shockley formed his own company, Shockley Semiconductor, and started developing silicon transistors, hence the name Silicon Valley. In 1957, eight employees left Shockley Semiconductor and formed Fairchild Semiconductor. Shockley was so upset, he labeled the defectors the traitorous eight. Undeterred, these tech geniuses would go on to help form companies like Intel, AMD, and Kleiner Perkins. Today, Kleiner Perkins is Silicon Valley's premier venture capital firm and has incubated tech powerhouses like EA, Twitter, and Amazon. In the 1970s, computer companies began to pop up left and right in Silicon Valley. Some, like Atari, eventually flamed out. Others evolved into massive conglomerates. In 1976, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak founded Apple Computers and one year later released the Apple II. The revolutionary computer was a massive success and the pair would go on to create other successful products like the Macintosh before leaving the company in 1985. Apple had humble beginnings, but it's now the most valuable company in the world with a market cap of $2.33 trillion at the time of producing this video. In 1977, Larry Ellison, Bob Miner, and Ed Oates formed Oracle, and another future tech giant was born. Ellison is now one of the richest people on Earth with a net worth of $106.8 billion at the time of producing this video. Fast forward to the 1990s when Silicon Valley became the center of the computer industry thanks to companies like eBay, PayPal, and Yahoo. In 1997, Sergey Brin and Larry Page registered Google.com and incorporated the company one year later. Thanks to $100,000 in funding from angel investor Andy Bechtelsheim, Brin and Page turned Google into the world's fifth most valuable company and made themselves incredibly rich. At the time of producing this video, Page and Brin had net worths of $108.9 billion and $105.4 billion respectively, while Google, now known as Alphabet, had a market cap of $1.7 trillion. In the aughts, Silicon Valley continued to expand thanks to the formation of new companies like Twitter, Uber, Facebook, and Tesla. In 2004, Mark Zuckerberg founded Facebook and received $500,000 in funding from angel investor Peter Thiel. Facebook has come a long way. At the time of producing this video, the company had a market cap of $1.01 trillion, and Zuckerberg's net worth stood at $127.7 billion. 
Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening founded Tesla Motors in 2003, and one year later, Elon Musk became the chairman of the company after offering up $6.3 million in funding. Musk would go on to invest more than $30 million in the company, a move that paid off significantly. At the time of producing this video, Musk's net worth was $167.3 billion, while Tesla has a market cap of $654.01 billion. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching.